This week, Iowa Western rolls into town with a talented team and a number two ranking. This is the place for your highlights. You're watching the Burt Williams Show. Coach, it didn't get any bigger than this one. Number two, Western Iowa coming in to Davenport Field on a Saturday. Just a beautiful day and just an exciting place to be. Well, it was. We were looking forward to this game all week. Knew it was going to be a great challenge. I mean, they've won about 20 straight or so, you know, undefeated last year, defending national champions. Uh, both of us coming into this game were undefeated on the season here in 2013. And we knew there were a lot of eyes on us. And uh, we knew that the people who came were going to have an exciting game to watch. And I don't think anybody was disappointed. And you have your highlights up next. You're watching the Burt Williams Show. Side. We've got to cover the cracks and crevices. We cannot let them penetrate. Ready? Burn. Burn. We <laughs> let Bug House get rid of your pest nightmare. Our poop's connected to the arm, and your ears are connected to your brain. Your legs connected to your toes. My elbow's connected to another part of my arm. Your wrist's connected to your joint. The hand's connected to the elbow. Entire middle area here. Twins to the left, one to the right, back to pass the top. Plenty of time. Fires over the middle, hits the That's what we're It's a beautiful Saturday at Davenport Field. We come out, win the toss, elect to receive. And here we come, mishandling the first kick and giving him great field position. Yeah, certainly not the way we wanted to start this. Kind of flashbacks of Blinn. Had a pretty stiff wind coming from that direction. And, uh, our guys back there misjudged it, and um, obviously they got the ball, popped it in here for a touchdown on third down. And uh, again, not the way we wanted to start this game. Uh, down 7-0 on a miscue on our special teams. But um, you know, I, was, I was real proud of the way our defense went out there. You know, they battled. It made them earn that touchdown there. And uh, the way our team didn't, you know, get down. We knew it was going to be a long game, a lot of work to be done there. And uh, we just got to come out and, uh, you know, start moving the ball and get our game. Uh, mode in us, offense, defense, special teams, and get them working. Now here we are with a third and long play with Thomas going to scramble and uh, just comes up short of the first down right there. We have to punt on the first possession. Yep, you know, we did a couple things good right there coming out of the end zone, got a first down and uh, missed a couple opportunities in the passing game on, on a couple of those uh, plays in that series. But nice punt, good coverage right there. Defense comes out here and uh, in position right here, almost had a pick. But the guys are uh, flying around and, uh, you know, playing hard on defense. Stop them and force this punt. And then we're going to punt. Beckham's going to feel this thing here on the hop. Picks up a few and he's down at the 40. And here we are going to try to move the ball and put some points on the board. Yeah, nice to get a little bit better field position out uh, past our own 40. And, you know, Pat, with the run fake right there, we felt like we could uh, kind of get some balls over the middle of the field with a little bit of run fake out of our one back sets. and. We, we caught a couple of nice ones on the day. Darius Williams right there, nice catch on the throw. And 
And you know, Q, uh, you know, drops uh, what what could have been a good one right there. Uh, would have been a big first down for us. You know, we had to come back and punt, and uh, coverage kind of gets suckered in there. Good job by their return man, and uh, the ball gets into the end zone. Yeah, high beautiful punt landing at the five, but goes in. Here they come, right here, moving the ball again. And we're going to show what the defense did pretty much all afternoon. We brought pressure. We got there. You know, we did. And we did it a lot of times with just a four-man rush, which is uh, I mean, you can do that, especially against their offense, and leave uh, seven guys back there in coverage. It becomes very helpful. And again, Dante Beckham here, you know, catches the ball and gets us uh, out past the 20, and offense has another chance to get up there and do something. And here we come right here on a third down play. Um, and Thomas is going to run the ball here and come up a yard short. And then one of the first aggressive calls that you made today, and you had a lot of them. Well, you know, we knew this was a game we couldn't hold anything back, and we had to come out there and, you know, do the things we felt strong about. And Javon's been great in short yardage all year, so fourth and less than a yard, we felt good about it. And, you know, again, uh, the way they bite the play action, and as good as we've been in the running game, we felt like the flea flicker may catch them. And it did, and we got down in here close to scoring, and uh, you know, nice throw right there. Darius has his hands on it, but a great play by their corner to knock it away. And we have to call on Brandon, who comes out and uh, ends up getting us the uh, field goal here to put some points on the board. And bounced it off the up right there to make it the 35 yarder to make it seven to three. And we're gonna come back out here kicking and kicking with the wind this time, so we get a nice high deep kick, and the returner is gonna bring it out, and they're gonna get the start on about the 20. Yeah, coverage does a good job right there. Uh, I've got to adjust a little bit more, see the man coming in off the right. It's got to squeeze it down, get on that play quicker, but pretty good coverage overall. Guys did a really nice job in the run defense on the day. I think we held them to uh, less than 80 yards on the day maybe, and they were uh, their running back was fourth leading rusher in the country there. But uh, defense doing a great job. See LeGrand Harley right there pursuing inside out, getting the tackle for a loss, and we come back in and uh, – you know, we had to come off our goal line several times. Uh, this is one of them on the day, starting on the half line there. They did a great job in coverage. This is one of the times we were not able to punch it off. But, uh, you know, pretty good job by uh, Alec Durbano here, getting the ball away from their return man, letting their defense come out with uh, as much uh, field space as possible. And when they did have success in the throwing game early on, it was to that middle of the field and just a big tight end here with a good catch and run. Yeah, nice job there, you know, by them. You know, felt like some of our uh, linebackers getting to the right spots in the middle of the field. And our dogs, sometimes we uh, got out of phase a little bit uh, coverage-wise, and they took advantage of that at times. But uh, we hold them to a field goal here. Great job by our defense. They probably had 30 snaps of, of goal line on the day and uh, really had a lot of success there. But Iowa Western pops the lead back out 10-3, and uh, the offense is going to get another chance to come out here and do something. And here we come with a nice return right here when we need it, changing that field position and just really doing a good job and looked like he had a chance to break it. Well, he did. You know, almost got there. They had the one guy back playing safety, did a nice job forcing him back to pursuit. But, again, great start and field position right here and, uh, you know, give the ball to Javon, you know, running the stretch zone right there. He's doing a nice job moving the chains. And we come back here on a fourth down play, like a fourth and six play, and you go for it and get in for the score. Yeah, you know, we kind of felt like the uh, the play right there would uh, would be there for us the way they were playing uh, with our short motion. We have a tendency to run it to the outside right there, run the route to the outside. So we snuck a seam up in there, and uh, Pat uh, saw it and put it on him. So nice job to to nut to uh, knot it up right there at ten and. Uh, unfortunately, we, we put it out of bounds and give them a little bit better field position than we wanted, but defense has a chance to come out and, uh, and make a statement of their own. And almost a big play right here. The receiver fumbles the football. Looks like we got a shot at it, but they come away with it. Uh, you know, I don't know how we didn't get that ball. <laughs> you know, they did come up with it. Uh, we, were, we were right there on it. You know, they're going for it on fourth here, you know, of their own. And uh, Corey Neely, uh, you know, is the recipient of a batted ball right there. But uh, what a fine job he does on this return. Big play for us, you know, just need a little bit of break. You know, we felt like we grabbed some momentum when we tied it back up and, uh, you know, had some good things going. And then this play right here to, to put us in the lead was really uh, a big momentum boost for our guys and uh, just kind of started to create a wave that uh, we rode for a good while. Yeah, and he kicks it through to make it to make it 17-6. to six and. Just uh, you could you could feel the game change at that point. That was such a lift on the sidelines and for that defense that had been out there battling to get rewarded with that score. Well, it did, and you know, again, great return. You know, great play on the ball by our corner out there. I believe that was Stephen Houston on that play. But um, you know, 
again, we were confident. We felt good about what we were doing. But, uh, you know, when you have a big play like that, it just really boosts that up for you and uh, puts you in position to, uh, to do some good things. And, you know, of course, Iowa Western being the championship uh, caliber team, they are. They're going to come out there and battle. And you can see us getting pressure again with three and four guys. And nice job, freshman linebacker Desmond Reed there out of Atlanta, uh, getting the tackle and forcing the punt. And their punter really did a nice job. I mean, he got almost blocked a couple times, but got off great punts and then down to the 15 right here. Yeah, he had a big leg on the day. I think he averaged about 45 yards a punt, and that one was huge. But come back out moving. We try to go to a two-minute mode here, and, and we're doing a pretty good job moving the ball. Nice throw to Montez McGuire. Uh, you know, we run the smash game down here into the boundary. Darius Williams is there for the catch. You know, Pat's really – Really had a nice first half, uh, pulled the ball down and made some things happen when his feet when he needed to and, and threw some very good balls. Thought all in all it was probably his best, uh, best game of the year. And uh, was run out of time as we get down here tight and uh, with 16 seconds we uh, kick the field goal and extend the lead 20 to 10 uh, as we get ready to head into the half. We're going to come back and have a kick here. It's going to be a high short kick. And they're going to get a return and actually have a shot here to get this thing, you know, to get at least get a ball in the end zone with their last mm -hmm. play. Yeah, you know, uh, perfect Robinson freshman uh, wide receiver right there. Almost had that tackle down there. Uh, kind of got shook a little bit. And uh, they get a great uh, return out past midfield. But um, Stephen uh, Houston right there again, uh, you know, playing the Hail Mary there towards the end zone. He's in position to uh, make that interception and stop the threat, and we're able to go into halftime with a 20 to 10 lead and uh, feeling pretty good about what we're doing. And just an impressive first half to come back with the, with the mistakes, with some of the fumbles there at the goal line on the very first kickoff, to be able to overcome all of that against a, such a great team. That says a lot about your team. Well, I, I think the thing our guys have done all year is trust in each other and, and play hard together, even when we're not playing well. And uh, there were times where we made mistakes that cost us, but nobody ever got down. You know, everybody was very supportive on the sideline and just, hey, just get out there. Let's uh, overcome those mistakes and uh, get back on the good side. And uh, we did a good job of that. You know, the defense was playing well. Uh, the offense was moving the ball, doing some good things. We just needed to minimize mistakes and uh, take advantage of opportunities. We have some explosive second half highlights, and they're up next. You're watching The Burt Williams Show. Excuse me. Your change. It's nice to know you can trust people. State Farm is counting on it. They want you to talk to your neighbors, then call a State Farm agent, find out how you can get discounts up to 40%. See, State Farm insures 40 million drivers. That's more than Geico and Progressive combined. Then call State Farm Agent Karen Rowell at 478-452-4502. When you get your statement from your financial representative, are you confused by all the extra fees? Grant Financial Group ends the confusion with flat rate fee-based asset management. Our team of professionals can handle all the financial needs for your business or your personal assets at significantly lower cost. We have relationships for everything from accounting to legal issues with a premium on service for you. Come see us today and let Grant Financial Group provide you with long-term success in your financial future. Our post connected to the arm. And your ears are connected to your brain. Your legs connected to your toes. My elbow is connected to another part of my arm. Your wrist connected to your joint. The hands connected to the elbow. I would imagine. Four wide out package again. Here's Javon. Javon around the right corner. 5, 10, 15, 20. There he goes. He's at the 30, at the 20, 10, 5. Touchdown, dog. Coach, we come out here in the second half, kicking the ball away, get off to a fast start. Their returner t feels the ball cleanly, gets out here, tries to make a move, and puts it on the ground. We scoop and score. Well, you know, we wanted to come out defensively and make a statement from the start, you know, make them, uh, you know, three and out, force the kick, and uh, I think this was even better. Perfect uh, Robinson right there, uh, scoops and scores, and uh, we extend the lead on the very first play. 
uh, to 2017 and you know really uh, in a lot of ways kind of got back that first touchdown we gave them so you know, we kind of felt like it evened things up on the day at that point. We come back out here kicking the ball again just a great job on coverage right here just swallowing that guy up about the 12 yard line. Yeah you know we felt like we can sneak some guys in you know off our left side and bend it in like we did there and coverage did a nice job do a great tackle right there uh, Dante Beckham coming out, out of the dog position and Stopping them again, you know, three and out, forcing the punt and giving us a chance to come out here offensively and do something. And Dante, again, you know, does a nice job fielding the punt and, and getting some yardage. And we're going to start right here, handing the ball, keeping it on the ground with Robinson, finding some running room and just some hard running, refusing to go down and getting out of bounds. It did a nice job getting to that second level. You know, offensive line it has done a good job on the zone uh, all year. And again, we run it again right there off our left side. And, Jovan punches it into the end zone for a touchdown, and I don't think we could have uh, scripted the third quarter to be any better for us here as uh, we, we pull out a little bit to a 34-10 lead. But you know this is a talented team and a team that has some pride and some tradition. So as predicted, they start to make a move here. Well, there's no doubt. You know, telling everybody on the sideline, guys, we have an entire half here. There's only about three minutes that run off the clock getting those two scores, and we come out and we have a breakdown, uh, you know, on our kick coverage and we give them a short field. And, uh, you know, at that point, we didn't need to give them anything uh, to get them excited and feel like they could take some of that momentum back. Um, but they really uh, settled in, started working their offense and, uh, you know, doing some good things here, moving the ball and uh, putting themselves in position to try to climb back into this. And as they get down close, we come down here, defense once again comes up with a big play with a pick and a turnover. I tell you, you know, uh, we had four picks on the day and they were all big and important. And, you know, we come here and, uh, uh, on first and ten, trying to run the ISO, Javon has to cross fields. We, we had some uh, blocking inconsistencies on that play on the day, but uh, offensive line in there trying to push the pile a little bit and get them out there. And, you know, Pat does a nice job here on a, on a low snap by center, uh, picks it up and, and gets enough for us to get a first down. And just a questionable call here, trying to get it to McGuire across the middle and just something a little like ar obvious targeting, and thank God he was okay. Yeah, you know, he's okay, uh, very sore. He got hit in the face and neck right there head on. But, um, you know, he'll be able to uh, get back out this week. It ended up uh, not being a concussion issue, which was uh, very fortunate. But, uh, you know, we, we do a nice job covering the kick. Uh, the returner ran into his own man. We don't get points here. We went for it on fourth down there. and. Uh, you know, really felt like we were going to pin them down deep, and our defense had been doing a great job all game. But again, you can see them starting to hit the middle of the field. Uh, we came out of coverage a little bit there on some of those routes and uh, did not get people underneath them, and uh, they end up moving the ball out of the shadow of the end zone. But the defense stops them close to midfield and forces that punt. And Beckham's going to field it here, do a nice job of getting some positive yards out of this thing. And he's really been a a pleasant surprise this year and been a player that's made a, an impact to this team. Well, you know, he really wasn't a guy we were looking to as we got into camp to be a punt returner. Um, wasn't uh, anything, you know, we had him slated for, but he really has shown up and done a great job for us on the year. And, um, you know, even with a couple of miscues he's had, he's had far many more great plays for us. But defense doing a good job here. We get a personal foul there, clipping our, uh, our snapper coming down the field, kind of pushing back a little bit. You can see we're getting some pressure in there, but uh, you know, hats off to that quarterback. He's able to find a guy out there, and Iowa Western's on the move again offensively, you know, throwing and catching and, and doing what they do. And they come back down here, and this is on a fourth down play and throw it incomplete. We're going to get the ball here, pick it up inside of our five, and just a costly turnover right here. Yeah, you know, uh, Joe Vaughn, usually when he, uh, when he cuts, he, he has a knack of keeping that shoulder low and not opening his body. And he went to cut back inside and elevated, and their safety put his helmet right on there, and he puked the ball up and uh, unfortunately gave them uh, some of that uh, momentum that we did not want to give them right there. And then they get the two-point play. So, you know, with uh, one costly mistake by us, uh, you know, they – cut it to a two-score game now, touchdown, uh, two touchdowns and two two-point conversions. They can tie it up. And then we have a miscue on our, uh, our hands team right there. They do the slow dribbler, and uh, our, our man up front there kind of freezes a little bit. And, you know, then we get a personal foul there on the late hit. Whistle hadn't blown, but they uh, gave us the foul anyway. And, um, you know, we're moving them down. We gave them, uh, you know, 15 yards extra on top of what they were earning. So, um, you know, really between the uh, – the fumble 
and uh, you know, giving them the, the onsides kick and that penalty right there. We really kind of put ourselves in a uh, less than advantageous position here in the fourth quarter as uh, we got to work hard to hold on to this game. Then they come back and uh, make that two-point conversion, come back out here, and they're going to kick the ball. Think it goes out of bounds to give a starting position on a 35. We need a drive here to run some clock, give this defense a rest, and what does Robinson do? He pops it for 70. <laughs> yeah, you know, uh, we, we were hoping to go out and grind it out. Obviously, we wanted to get points first and foremost, and we were able to do that here. But Javon does uh, what he's done all year, make big plays for us. And Line did a nice job, you know, blocking the front, you know, fitting into that zone stretch. It's been so good for us. But, you know, we, we'd stopped him on that last two-point conversion to keep it to a two-score game. And then uh, that was a big touchdown because it kept it uh, at a three-score game. And, with the way they run their offense and the way they can uh, do a lot in a little bit of time, you know, we wanted uh, to keep as much buffer as we could uh, on the scoreboard. They come back here and start moving the ball again, complete across the middle. And this is where that defense starts to look a little gassed and doesn't get the rush that we've been seeing, play action complete there, and they keep moving down the field. Yeah, you know, we, because we weren't getting rushed with three, you know, we started bringing four and five. You can see on those last two plays where they hit uh, their receiver over the middle. When you blitz those guys, it kind of opens that middle up, and we lost uh, lost position on the receiver, and they took advantage of it. But you know they run their offense exceptionally well. Uh, you know their starting quarterback and their top receiver from last year, starting in the Big 12 and the ACC uh, between them, and doing exceptionally well for their team. So th their style of offense and what they do has been very successful, and they've got really good players doing it. But you know again, we got to come out here, we got to move the ball, we got to chew up some time, and. Uh, there's number two again running down the field and making big plays for us as uh, we get down close to 30. And then what a luxury to have this. We come out giving Robinson a blow, a breather, hand the ball off to Judd, and he takes it to the house. Uh, you know, uh, Keem uh, really is an outstanding running back. He's an SEC commit. And, uh, you know, he's been uh, kind of hurt this year, nothing serious, but he hadn't been 100%. He really wasn't 100% in this game. But getting a lot closer to it, made a great run for us right there. Big run, needed the points. And, uh, you know, again, we got to send the defense out there to, uh, to do their thing and, uh, you know, make sure that uh, we do what we need to do to keep them off the scoreboard and need up as much time as possible. They come back here, going to complete another pass across the middle, moving that thing into the, into our end of the uh, field. Come back here, going to run a little option play. Quarterback gets in for the score. Yeah, you know, he just got over the line there. The um, you know, linebacker ran a pinch stunt right there. Linebacker's got to be a little quicker getting to the edge. But, um, you know, again, we made them eat up about six minutes or almost six minutes from where they got it. So uh, we're getting ready to get the ball back. We just knew we needed to get this on Sats kick and we're able to recover it and get it in good shape. And, uh, you know, we got a minute to 43 to kill and we're able to uh, run the clock out without any more scoring and uh, get a big win against the defending national champs there, uh, 48 to 38. And, it's a good day on Davenport Field for the Bulldogs. Just a, gr a great win, Coach. I mean, this this is a very, very talented, well-coached football team that that you come out and we really played a complete game. You speak, you spoke about the defense being able to stop them and holding them below 80 yards. It was 71 yards rushing, mm -hmm. and we put up uh, you know a great offensive day on what is a top quality defense. Well, you know, we really did. They hadn't allowed uh, any touchdowns the last three games. They were averaging giving up five points a game. You know, we hang 48 on them. You know, we have a, t a special teams touchdown and a defensive touchdown, but still 34. You know, we uh, pretty much totaled their whole year up to that point. Uh, you know, the only thing really that slowed us down uh, was our mistakes when we had the fumble. You know, we, we gave them some of the things that they got. But, um, you know, the biggest thing I thought we did on the day was continue to fight and play hard and, and not let success or failure take us off track from fighting hard, focusing, and, and doing what we need to do to win the game. So proud of our kids, proud of what they did, and uh, it was a good win for us. And this team really seems to be bonding together and coming together just at a perfect time when you're running through a little stretch of the season right in the middle. Uh, you can see when there was a mistake or even like that fumble, the kids seemed to get together on the sidelines and get each other up and get back into the game. Yeah, they did, you know, and, uh, you know, these kids can uh, just have a knack for picking each other up right there. and. Uh, they have some maturity. We have a number of guys from last year, so we, we have some good experience on the team. Um, you know, not getting down when bad things happen, just knowing that we're capable of overcoming those things and doing what it takes to get a win. And that's shown this year. I mean, we've had uh, 
in, in all our games against the, the top five and top ten opponents. You know, we've had situations where, you know, we didn't execute as well as we wanted in some phase of the game, but we were able to overcome that, patch it up, and get back out there and do it right. We'll be right back to talk about next week's matchup. You're watching the Burt Williams Show. Cover the cracks and crevices. We cannot let them penetrate. Ready? Burn! Burn. We got a stack perimeter! Woo! Let Bug House get rid of your pest nightmare. Our post connected to the arm, and your ears are connected to your brain. Your legs connected to your toes. Elbows connected to another part of my arm. Your wrist connected to your joint. The hands connected to the elbow. Coach, you traveled to Iowa this week to play a battle-tested Ellsworth team, and it's going to be tri quite a trip. Well, it is. It's a long, uh, long bus ride. It's about an 18-hour ride up there for the guys, and obviously coming off a big emotional win against Iowa Western, uh, you know, it's going to be one of the tougher weeks of practice. You know, coming off, it's a typical sandwich game type of deal, but uh, we, we don't have time to think about anything but getting ready for Ellsworth. Uh, good team. They've had some good success this year. They've played a very tough schedule. They're tough at home. Uh, they've got the leading tackler in the nation at linebacker, great player. Um, and they're a little bit unorthodox on what they do defensively. So mentally, from an assignment and focus standpoint, it'll probably be as hard a game we've had to prepare for from the offensive side uh, that we've had all year. And then defensively, you know, they're going to run an offense in many ways similar to what we saw against Iowa Western. They're going to be out there in three wide, four wide, and uh, they, they will spread the ball all over the field, quick hits, quick screens, draws, things of that nature, ball getting away in a hurry. So. Um, it's going to propose some challenges to what we do, and we got to get up there ready to play on a long trip, and uh, probably going to be a little colder and windier than we used to. Well, join us here next week. You've been watching the Burt Williams Show. <laughs>